Good morning and welcome to Good News for today, May the 8th. Um, and to, I'm Nikki. And I'm Tim. And today we're going to be reading from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 1 to 10, from the Phillips Version. Paul, messenger of Jesus Christ by God's choice to all faithful Christians at Ephesus and other places where this letter is read. Grace and peace be to you from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to God for giving us through Christ every possible spiritual benefit as citizens of heaven. For consider what he has done before the foundation of the world he chose us to become. In Christ, his holy and blameless children living within his constant care. He planned in his purpose of love that we should be adopted as his own children through Jesus Christ, that we might learn to praise that glorious generosity of his, which has made us welcome in the everlasting love he bears towards the Son. It is through the Son, at the cost of his own blood, that we are redeemed, freely forgiven through that full and generous grace, which has overflowed into our lives and opened our eyes to the truth. For God has allowed us to know the secret of his plan, and it is this. He purposes in his sovereign will that all human history shall be consummated in Christ, that everything that exists in heaven or earth shall find its perfection in, and fulfillment in him. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thank you. <clears throat> this uh, passage of scripture uh, has some parts that I, I think have been uh, read differently at different different times within uh, uh, Christian history. Uh, I recall uh, reading or having it explained to me that um, the, the word predestination is mentioned, I think, in other translations of this uh, epistle, and um, and I have always struggled with the idea of predestination. Uh, it seems to imply, perhaps, that we have no choice in the matter, and uh, that just I just can't reconcile that with what uh, with what I learned from other. Um, parts of the Bible. So this is a fairly short, uh, there's going to be a fairly short uh, contemplation of the good news, I think. It, uh, it comes down to the last couple of verses, I think. For God had allowed us to know the secret of his plan, and it is this. He purposes in his sovereign will that all human history shall be consummated in Christ, that everything that exists in heaven or earth shall find its perfection and fulfillment in him. If one stops to contemplate what that is saying, and in light of what we know about everything that exists in heaven or earth, uh, I think that our understanding of the cosmos is much broader than it was in Paul's time. But Paul is, is indicating here that he, that, that he has, that God has allowed us to know the secret of his plan. And that plan is that everything that exists in heaven and earth shall find its perfection and fulfillment in Christ. And that, that is just good news as far as I'm concerned. Probably the best news that humanity could receive. So I just want you to, I, I want us to ponder that as we, uh, as we close today and maybe as you're thinking about this through, throughout your day, perhaps uh, we, we might just contemplate this wonderful news that God has revealed to us, his plan. Thanks. I think he's going to have a prayer, I think, for us. Join me in prayer, please. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and 
Let me try that again. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This is from the Book of Prayers. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us, and we wish you all the blessings of a beautiful spring day. Yes. God bless. Thank you.